Hello friends, and happy April Fool's Day. Now the team and I came up with something spectacular to really, really grind Eric's gears. And uh, it's a special mystery that Jeff's gonna bring me. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, so, so Eric's gonna have no idea. Why are you wearing an apron? It's branding, dude. My image. He's he's gonna have no clue what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I mean, I know what's in there, but I don't know what it is. I've never tried it before, so it should be perfect to frustrate Eric, which is one of my main purposes in life. So you can see it's concealed, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This is a turkey. No, it's not a turkey. <laughs> Want me to open it? Well, if you want to finish the episode, you should probably probably open it. <laughs> what the? Have fun with that one, dude. Is that jackfruit? I think so. <laughs> it's gonna be wild. Well, this is a girl singers. Let's do it. How do I break down a jackfruit? All right, well, we're just gonna wing this one. So I know that jackfruit is commonly used for like vegetarian and like vegan, like barbecue substitution. God, this is sticky. It's kind of like a meat substitute for that kind of stuff. I think we're supposed to take the pods out individually and then take the seeds out and then we just kind of season it from there. I'm gonna get some gloves because again, this is like super sticky and we'll just kind of figure this out. It actually smells really good. I'm serious. If we're gonna start with this one. It is rather spongy. This is not a uh, enjoyable texture. Okay, so that's what the actual like edible fruit looks like. I'm gonna taste it. It's pretty good. I'm serious, that tastes good. Kind of tastes like mango. It's really stringy. I think that's why it's used as like a barbecue substitute. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull out all these pods. Uh, we're gonna take the seeds out of the middle. We're gonna season it and then throw it on the smoker for a little bit and just kind of see where it goes. Um, I'll probably end up tossing it in some barbecue sauce too, I'm kind of thinking. I got some like Stubbs Dr. Pepper sauce that I think would actually probably work really well. God, this is weird. This is so weird. Anybody wanna help me out with this by the way? Okay, so we've got our jackfruit broken down. Uh, so this is essentially what you're left with. These are like the, the fleshy pods that surround the seeds. To kind of like explain the flavor, I'm just gonna eat one. Kind of has like a mango, a little bit of like, I'd say even like papaya. It's just a tropical fruit, but it's not like this huge in your face flavor. Uh, and I feel like it's actually gonna pick up some flavor pretty well. Uh, this is Lambert sweet rub of mine. Uh, this is one of the first barbecue rubs I ever used. Tends to be the most kind of, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Flexible. Uh, we're just gonna season it with that. I hope this works out. I hate all of you. Can't go in the smoker. Uh, I have it set at 250. Um, I'll figure out how long it needs to be in there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Why is jackfruit called jackfruit? How much does a film crew cost per day. 10 grams. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I'll keep you around. <laughs> okay, so we are going to pull our jackfruit off the smoker now. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to shred it a little bit and then we're gonna add some sauce. I got the Stubbs Dr. Pepper one. This is my favorite sauce that I like to use when I do use sauce. I'm being told that I should mention that this actually stayed in for about an hour and a half. It kind of smells like, uh, oh gosh, what am I, can you just go smell this? Mm. What does it smell like to you? It smells like the dried mango candy, right? Oh yeah, yeah. A little bit? I think it's the uh, like mango, seasoning. The mango con chile, a little bit. Oh, this is like easily pulling apart now. This is, this is really hot, it's really hot. Cool. Sousin'. This 
If this is vegetarian barbecue, I feel bad for every single vegetarian. Look, look at that. That does not look appetizing at all. All right, back in for 30 minutes, according to the Google article I found. This April Fool's Day, I'm the fool. Okay, we're gonna take this thing out of here and we're gonna, we're gonna see how it looks. Here we go. Okay, now since my team so gloriously blessed me with this, uh, I'm gonna make them come taste it. No, 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 I wanna feed it to you. Oh, God, why? Oh, hot as hell. <laughs> well, it tastes much better than raw. Yeah. Um, it's weird because it's giving me fruit vibes, giving me barbecue vibes. The Dr. Pepper sauce is really good. But it's also giving me like lasagna vibes. It looks terrible, but it actually tastes really good. That even had a cheese pull. That's so weird. This is a vegetarian's best attempt at making a meat substitute. Take a bite. Take a bite. Y'all gonna go back to the drawing board. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit down. Great job. You did better than I thought you would. Happy April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day. <laughs> Apple Foo Day. Happy April Fool's Day. Uh, please don't watch this video again. Uh, you can follow us on social media. Uh, we're on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Meta, whatever else is out there. What? Why don't you say what you can make with that? Like, you can put this on bread. <laughs> 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 what? I, I don't know what else you'd put it on. It doesn't taste bad. It's just the texture sucks. I don't know what else to say. Like this video. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Click the notification bell or don't, I don't care. We're just gonna keep coming out with videos. We'll see you next time, hopefully not with this.